Hello again, my friends, Derek from Bomb Socks here with more Bomb Bites, where we are feasting upon the words of Christ one bite at a time. So today's episode is going to be kind of an overview of this whole week. And I actually took it from the Come Follow Me manual. It's in that first large paragraph. As you're going through these Come Follow Me lessons, there's some great stuff in the manual that's been given to us. And so I wanted to take this, and I'm not quite sure who wrote this, probably some wonderful behind the scenes curriculum writer wrote this, but I really like the way uh, he or she said this. So look at this uh, paragraph right here. And I really just kind of want to build this week on this right here. So it says, hundreds of years after the Jaredites were destroyed, the Nephites discovered the ruins of their ancient civilization. Among these ruins was a mysterious record, plates of pure gold that were filled with engravings. These were found during King Mosiah's time. The Nephite king Limhi could sense that this record was important. I love this phrase. Doubtless, a great mystery is contained within these plates. You know, and, and you think about this, you think about the mysteries that are contained just within the book of Ether. I mean, you've got all of the barge building that we talked about last week. Um, we've got uh, how to gain light in your life. Um, later on this week, we're going to talk about the hazards and blessings, either one of those of having a king. Uh, you're also going to see a wonderful discourse, which will be next week lesson about faith uh, and just how to really grasp that concept of faith. So that, that phrase, doubtless a great mystery is contained in these plates. There's some great mysteries in this book of Ether. So let me go back to it here. Uh, today you have an abridgment of this record translated into our language. It's called the book of Ether. It comes from the same record that the Nephites, quote, were desirous beyond measure to read. And when they did, they were filled with sorrow Nevertheless, it gave them much knowledge in the which they did rejoice. You think about some of the sorrows that they read about in here with uh, some of the decisions that are made by people in here. As you read about the rise and the tragic fall of the Jaredites, you'll find many sorrowful moments. But don't overlook the joy of learning lessons from this history. After all, as Moroni wrote, it is wisdom in God that these things should be shown unto you. For if we can learn from the failures and the successes of the Jaredites... Evil may be done away, and the time may come that Satan may have no power upon the hearts of the children of men. So I really believe a lot of the things that we learned last week in the book of Ether, things that we're going to learn this week in the book of Ether, and then next week as we finish up the book of Ether, there's going to be some great mysteries that I believe doubtless will be able to bring us that happiness to the point where Satan will eventually just throw his hands up in disgust and just be like, you know what? I am done with these people. I got to move on because they're just not listening. Their faith is so strong. Their resilience uh, to difficult things in their life. I just can't deal with them. So that phrase right there about how um, the time may come, may come, that Satan may have no power. I like the word may there. It's it's not a will. It's a, look, if you do these things, the time may come that Satan may have no power over the hearts of the children of men. If we will simply, uh, like President Nelson said in conference, let God prevail. And so as we go throughout this week, I want you to really keep that idea of letting God prevail. These are members of the house of Israel. And Israel does mean that, according, or one of the definitions of it, according to what President Nelson said. So as you find that message throughout this week, the time may in fact come that Satan may have no power over our hearts at all. So I hope you look at that this week as we study the book of Ether. And you're going to see, in fact, tomorrow, one of my favorite chapters ever in all scripture. And we're going to dive into that one. Literally, we're going to dive deep into that one and we're going to see where it takes us. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for sharing these messages. Uh, you guys are awesome. Take care. Godspeed. Bye-bye.